Where are the social justice warriors, all of the people talking about rape culture, when you have actual legitimate cases right here? I don't see people at like UT Austin who had the, you know, the clocks, not because we can't say the other thing, not not Glocks protest. Where were they for for these young women and going after these these rapists? You know, I actually wrote an article about that last week for Town Hall when we were looking at just the hypocrisy that was running rampant on that campus. I mean, you want to talk triggering in safe spaces, that wouldn't have been for a rape survivor or somebody who maybe had their best friend assaulted. Uh, they, they don't like when someone doesn't fit their narrative. And I can't tell you how incredibly proud I am of uh, Ms. Prout for coming forward. I look at that interview and I think, my gosh, she seems so, so young, but really she's only a couple years younger than I was at the time that I first released my name. But her voice is well beyond her years and she knows exactly how important it is to speak out, to own your story and to stand up for your rights as a human being when you've been heinously attacked like that. And it's really, and it's difficult, really difficult for women for to come women forward, to forward, particularly when, you know, Brock, Tar he's being released. He's being, he's being released tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, which is for those of you on the metric system, about half of his sentence, half of it. You wanna talk about truth and sentencing or maybe why victims don't wanna come forward or don't feel like the justice, serve, the justice system is going to serve them well. This is a prime example. And it's not prosecutors and it's not law enforcement that aren't going to that. That's why these people get into that job. But when you look at people that are legislating and maybe don't want to get in a bad mix with one side or the other, or judges that are issuing sentences like this, the gal was unconscious and he still felt entitled to put himself on her body and to assault her like that. And we can't grow up in a country where we are entitled to other people's bodies, but yet that is the rape culture that the left talks about all the time. Yet when we have cases like this, where the sentences should be more stringent and really there to, to help people like me, to help people like Chessie, to help people like the Stanford survivor, where are they? And it's just really unfortunate because this is something that we work for every single day of every year. But for some people, it's just a, a cycling headline.